Hey guys, and today we're going to be talking about a little post that Square Enix put on their, uh, they actually put it on the website and they put it on across all their social media sites, the Instagram and the Twitter. We're going to jump right in because I actually only read the first paragraph and the next two lines and I immediately stopped because I thought doom and gloom was coming. So let's just take a quick look at it. Okay, so this is the post they actually put up. I think there was either a couple of days or a day ago. The Final Fantasy VII Remake team have worked extremely hard to make this game and we are incredibly proud of what you're about to play. Our biggest motivator during the development was that so many of you were willing us on and we felt your enthusiasm and passion every step of the way. Here comes the biggie. We had some hard decisions to make during the final few weeks before launch due to disruption to distribution channels caused, wow that's a tongue twister, caused by the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Stop right there. Immediately I read this the other day and my heart sank because I thought the next bit what was going to be coming was they haven't managed to get it shipped out in time, the game will probably be delayed a little bit more and it's probably not going to get to us for the release date of April 10th as we all thought. Now let's cut a long story short. Final Fantasy 7 the original, is arguably one of the greatest games what graced the original PlayStation 1 back in 1997. This game has such a massive following. It is highly probably recommended as one of the greatest Final Fantasy games you will ever play. It is also my personal game from the PlayStation 1 and I'm a beat em up fan. And people have been willing this remake for 20 years plus now what this game represents not only the history it's got behind it but especially more than ever now in the time of all the crazy shit going off out there to a lot of gamers this game is a small ball of tiny light that can just help you see it through that little bit more it is a game you can lose yourself in, you can lose yourself in the story, although it being in a world that has also got its own problems. Um, you, you can lose yourself in the characters, the dialogue, the gameplay, and it's gonna take time. And I think it, it's a big distraction at the minute to the things, what is going off out there, like I said. So for this game to get delayed again, was like a arrow to the heart, but, when I pulled myself around and finally got back to reading what the rest of the text said, this is what where we get to. These unique circumstances have made it very difficult to align timing of our global shipping. Our highest priority is that all of you, including those who live in countries currently facing the biggest disruption, can play the game at launch. So we made the decision to ship the game far earlier than usual to Europe and Australia. As a result, there is a greater chance that some of you in these regions will now get a copy of the game prior to the worldwide release date of April the 10th. For other Western regions, including the Americas, copies will be shipped this week and we feel optimistic that most of you will receive the game for launch day. However, due to the challenging situation we cannot provide delivery dates for each country and each retailer. Now, First of all, I think we have to take our hats off massively to Square for actually making the decision, which is a massive decision, to get this game shipped earlier. Because not only do we know it's one of the greatest games that's probably going to grace us, they also know how much it means to us in this time of need. So they are busting their balls to get this thing out to us. Now, here comes an interesting part which automatically I thought about when I read this uh, and if we go back to the second page we really want all of you looking forward to Final Fantasy 7 Remake to play the game on April 10th and experience everything we have been working on together now to everyone we would like to ask one big favor if you get the game early please think of others and don't spoil it for them we know there are potential spoilers that have been out there for over two deco decades as the original Final Fantasy VII was released in 1997. But Final Fantasy VII Remake is a new game that still has many surprises for everyone. All our fans and players deserve to experience the game for themselves 
and we ask for the support of the dedicated community around the world to ensure that. On behalf of the entire development team and everyone around the world that has worked on getting Final Fantasy VII Remake to you all, thanks again for your support, and most importantly, please stay safe. This was my only concern. I mean, it's great they're getting it out to us, but it's a massive decision. They know a lot of people are going to get this game early, <clears throat> before the release date of April 10th, and a lot of people are obviously going to get it on the day, ready for play. Now, yes, Final Fantasy, like they say, has been around for two decades, the original, but this is an entirely new game. It's going to have new cutscenes. It's going to have more character depth. It's going to have a whole lot different gameplay style for a start. And for me personally, I just hope everyone respects their wishes. They've put the effort in to get it to us, so let's put the effort in to listen to what they're saying. I mean, when it, you're always going to get some ass, let's face it, that wants to show off the first trailer, that wants to show off the first boss fight, that wants to finish it before everybody else and try and stream this shit before everybody else. Me, personally, when this game starts getting shipped and people start receiving it, I'll be off social media. I'll even stop doing some of the YouTube stuff because I want to enjoy this game. I want to see it for myself first. I want to fully immerse myself in it. And I think it's only right that we respect Square's decision and every, and respect other gamers as well who are who could be possibly be playing Final Fantasy and there will be a lot for the very first time. That's another thing what a lot of people haven't thought about. Some people won't have seen any of this before. They won't have seen it. They won't have fell in love with any of the characters. They won't have fell in love with the story and they won't have been in the world of Final Fantasy VII. So it is a biggie. Uh, I think everyone, you know, for most people, they will respect their wishes and we will do everything we can to keep it behind closed doors and enjoy it all ourselves. Uh, but the good news is, guys, Final Fantasy VII is still happening. It still will be here. It still will be here on release date. You know, this thing can't keep everything down. People are still working hard out there and... All I ask is everybody stay safe, enjoy Final Fantasy 7, and I'll catch you here back soon. Peace out, guys.